Do you know this when your brush is shedding and you get all these little hairs that just tickle the shit out of you? Oh. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Maria and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my progress on my Project Progress product. If you haven't seen my intro, uh, Project Progress is basically a full project pen where I want to see progress on my products and I want to see how much I use them up as I go. But I don't want to make it a project pen because I don't have too many items and I feel like a project pen would just stress me out too much. Anyway, I wanted to show you February's pro progress and basically recap and we're gonna go Biggest progress, mid-range progress, low progress. Yeah, I guess let's get started. I got my tea here. I will make up every single day in February. Um, today is the 27th of February, so we still have two days to go, but you know, I want to make it a fair progress, so I try to weigh my products on the same 27th of every month. I've been to the office four times this month. That's almost every week I haven't been this week and when I go to the office I wear mostly all powders because I want to last it a bit longer I've noticed with um, cream they kind of <laughs> disappear off my face anyway okay let's get started enough mumble for me so we do not have like a highlight highlight this month but I wouldn't even say there is something like a highlight like hitting a pen or anything like that in my project progress because we just want to see how much we have used up in a, in a month's use so i will start with the biggest progress my biggest progress is on my charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless um, this is the liquid highlighter primer ish i use this literally every single day except for maybe a couple of exceptions where i was only wearing brows um, eyeliner and mascara even on days where i would go into to work i would just mix it into my foundation my foundation is a a mix of the sheer glow and the Misha BB cream and the Misha BB cream is more on the matte side and this one gives it a bit of a glow even though I put a little bit of powder over it you can still see the glow coming through anyway we have dropped from 134.72 to 133.73 and this is a whooping 0.99 grams loss so i actually thought this one will be a very slow burner but it turns out it's not and i'm very very happy about that so yeah everyday use almost everyday use gets you a one gram drop the next product in this category is my tacha kisu lip sleeping mask again just a recap this is next to my bed on my nightstand i literally use it every single night after brushing my teeth we dropped from 44.73 to 44.26 which is a loss of 0.47 grams so good progress but i'm not surprised so now we're coming to the mid-range progress my first product in the mid-range progress category is my nas concealer this is the soft matte complete concealer in vanilla i used it every day so we dropped from 29.94 to 29.62 which is a drop of 0.32 grams everyday use and mostly to conceal the eyes and spot conceal the face and i had a lot of breakouts this month next product in this category is my hourglass bronzer the pen I really can't tell if it's getting bigger. I must might, might need to start taking pictures of the pen. I don't know. Here we dropped from 84.46 to 84.19, which is a drop of 0.27 grams. Given the amount that I used cream products this month over powder products, I'm not surprised, but it's still a decent drop. And in the last couple of days, I've been a bit lazy, whereby I would use this mainly as a crease shade for my eye makeup. Next product in this category is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. Used it almost every day. I started powdering my eyes just so slightly uh, because the crinkles just suck up all the concealer and it looks terrible at the end of the day. Drop from 57.84. 57.58 that is a loss of 0.26 grams 
So the next product in this category is my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on pencil. It was very worn down, I had to like sharpen it. And when I sharpened it, the mine, the so the actual pencil disappeared. And I thought when I sharpen it, it might have broken off and fell on the floor. So I panicked, I was searching the whole bathroom um, because you know, once you smear eyeliner all over the tiles or whatever, it's just a pain. And I'm glad it happened actually in the bathroom, but I couldn't find it. And I was like, what is going on? So I started shaking it. And what happens is, can you see this? It's basically the mine came out. It's like all loose. No, so what I did is I took the mine out. <laughs> I sharpened the pencil and then I put the mine back in. And this is how much we are sticking out right now. I will obviously have to always do it. And I made a very conscious effort of using this in my tight line. I used it in my tight line today as well. But I don't know, man. This is really terrible that this happened by the hour. Or maybe because it's flying around in my makeup bag, maybe that made it break. Anyway, given that we sharpened it, it dropped from 523 to 508, which is a 0.15 gram loss. At least it made its way into the mid-range category. I don't think it will stay there for too long. The next product in my category is the Mecca City Slicker Lip Tinted Lip Oil. And I have actually made a really conscious effort of using this. It's on my desk. Um, next to my screen. So every time I feel like I have dry lips, I um, just put this one on. We dropped from 18.32 to 18.17, which is a 0 0.15 grams loss. So at first it went really slow, but now that I have it in my eyesight, it's actually going really well. The next product in my category is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and Auburn. I used it almost, um, yeah, I almost used it every day, even on the days where I just put on um, mascara, eyeliner and eyebrows, I would uh, later in the afternoon when I would refresh my makeup, I would just go with this over it. it. It's a great progress, I must admit. I'm surprised myself that I did use up so much. We dropped from 47.52 to 47.38 and that's a good drop of 0.14 grams. Very good, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that this is going the right direction. Next product in this category is the Becca and Hatice Schmidt Berlin Girl Glow. I assume we all heard the news by now that Becca is closing down in September 2021. Very sad, very, very sad because some of their products are really good. I have another product in this project, which is the under eye corrector and I will be very sad if I can't get it anymore. So here we drop from 60.46 to 60.33. That is a loss of 0.13 grams. So what I've noticed is I've been using this one over my Mary Lou Luminizer uh, because this one is more subtle and it's giving it more of a like a more natural look rather than this bam highlighter one more product in this category and then we're moving on to the low progress category last product in this category is my mecca zoom stick this is an eyeshadow stick in a flesh color the color of this um, shadow stick is macaroon we are almost done with it i already bought a replacement because i really really like it I really like it as an eyeshadow base and um, eyeshadow sticks really well and stays on very well on this one. Uh, we dropped from 12.23 to 12.11. That's a drop of 0 0.12 grams. Great, great, great progress, but I'm not surprised you use quite a lot of it. Okay, before we go into the low progress category, I want to introduce one more product in... Uh, my blush section. Okay, I've been eyeing this product for a really long time and I know I went on a no buy or a replacement buy only and we had a sale and it's my birthday coming up and my friend was so generous to say, hey, there's a Sephora sale, what do you need? I wanna buy it for your birthday and I'm like, all right. I said, I want a Fenty Cheeks Out blush in Cool Berry and she actually gave it to me. I love this product like a lot. So I'm introducing this into the blush category today, 27th of February. And I'm introducing this on a weight of 29.35 grams. I have used it, I got it 
maybe a week ago or so i've used it almost every day i'm really 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 obsessed with this it's so pretty i even stopped it i even ditched my bronzer and just used that instead of like bronzer and blush okay low progress category first product in this category is my becca and i corrector i have used it I would say for the good second half of February, uh, every day I would put on my concealer, I would just put a drop in um, the inner corner. And I'm actually surprised by the drop that we encountered with this. Um, let me just show you, we have a really nice dip. Again, if Becca goes out of business, I hope there will be someone coming out with a replacement. I think Elf has a replacement, but sometimes higher end or yeah, higher end products are just a bit better. No shade against e.l.f. This product dropped from 42.88 to 42.78 grams. That is a loss of 0.10. I'm actually surprised that I lost this much because like I said, I dab once sometimes twice and I only used it for the second half of February. So I'm really, really surprised this actually lost that much weight. The next product in this category is my Milk Makeup Bronzer. As I mentioned last time, I feel like I have barely scratched the surface on it. I have made a conscious effort to use it when I work from home and when I use, obviously, all cream products. The Milk Makeup uh, Bronzer, we dropped from 74.52 to 74.17 and that's a loss of 0.08. The next product in this category and probably the product that will get ditched eventually <laughs> is my Milk Makeup Blush. I've been using it again the same as the Milk Makeup Bronzer. I still feel like I barely scratched the surface but now that I have the Fenty I think this one will probably be used less. I feel like this one doesn't really come up on my skin and I don't want to look too clownish putting on too much. What I notice also with cream products, by the end of the day they disappear. Is it just me or is that normal? I don't know. Anyway, we dropped from 19.20 to 19.14. That's a loss of 0.06 grams. It's a good loss, but I feel like this loss will eventually deteriorate because of this. Alrighty, the next product in my category is my Urban Decay highlighter, which has lost a decent amount, I would say. Um, we dropped from 7.63 to 7.59, which is a drop of 0.04, which is quite surprising because when I use this, I would use my blush, my Urban Decay blush with it, and I would use it as a blush topper. However, it's not like I use so much more of this than of my blush, but I will not complain about this progress. Next product in this category is the Nude Sticks. Uh, I use it every time I go out and I have my handbag with me because this lives in my handbag. We drop from 8.96 to 8.93, which is a loss of 0.03 grams. My next product in this category is my Mary Lou Luminizer Highlighter. Uh, I have used it mainly as a eyeshadow this month but I did use it every now and then on my cheeks as well. Um, this dropped from 20.72 to 20.70 that's a loss of 0.02 grams. Next product in my low progress category is my Morphe eyeliner stick in the color brown. I used it once. It did lose some weight. It dropped from 7.28 to 7.26 which is 0.02 grams which I but I don't believe that this is actually the loss of it. I think what happened is I think the scale went just a bit wonky. I think this will be a slow burner because I literally keep forgetting it and I do like a black crisp eyeliner eyeliner line. Third last product in this category is my Mecca Maxima single eyeshadow in the color Y2K. Used it as an eyeshadow but mainly in the last couple of days because I was a bit lazy to get my eyeshadow palette out of the bathroom. I may do my makeup mainly in this room now and I just need to move it here so I use my eyeshadow palette but if I use my eyeshadow palette I will be neglecting this one. It's a, it's a cycle of life I guess. Anyway, this one dropped from 19.54 to 19.53, that's a loss of 0.01 gram. 
my beloved benefited goof proof i used it i used this almost every single day except for the last couple days because it was also living in my bathroom and not in my makeup bag however given that i used it almost every day in february we only lost 0.01 grams so we dropped from 7.24 to 7.23 which is not a surprise. However, what I think I need to start doing is I need to unwind it and take pictures and we'll, you know, take pictures of the comparison month on month. I only took a picture today of the unwinded one, so I need to remember to take a picture of it next month. And my last product in this category is my Urban Decay Double Take Blush from the Backdrop Palette and this one dropped from 7.96 to 7.95 which is only a drop of 0.01 as i mentioned before when i mentioned the highlighter i do use this one in conjunction with the highlighter and i'm surprised that this one lost less than the highlighter maybe the highlighter particles are heavier than the blush particles i don't know i'm not a scientist i wouldn't i wouldn't know wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. For the month of March, I want to challenge myself a little bit. As you may know, I have depotted all my eyeshadow palettes and I'm very close on hitting pan on one of my eyeshadows. And I wanna show you which one this is. This is the color Cinder from the Sultry palette. As you can see, there is like a really nice dip in it. So over the last couple of weeks, what I've been doing is I've been using a flat packing brush and I'll be like really stirring up the pan and then packing it on into my lid. I'm wearing it today and I really want to hit pan on this, on this eyeshadow. I don't know why. I will be really sad when this eyeshadow is gone because this is like literally my ultimate favorite eyeshadow. But... I just need to challenge myself a little bit so I will be concentrating on that eyeshadow mostly in the next couple of weeks to have like a little highlight as such in this series. Anyway, I hope you liked my video. If you do, uh, consider subscribing. I will be uploading every month my little progress here of my products um, just to get like a general understanding on how long does it take to use up a product or if you use it every day how much do you actually use up consider giving me also a like if you really like this video and i shall see you in my next video next month have a good day thank you for watching bye